Hi, I'm Hideo Date, I'm jazz and blues guitarist in Berkeley, California. Today's lesson is blues guitar lesson number 14. Um, you're going to do some um, solo idea in the key of E. Okay, let's get started with the tuning. I've been using 432 hertz tuning from high E string to low E string. So let's check with the um, E chord in the open position. And let's check with the G chord in the open position. Okay, let's take a look on the E7 chord. I did some double soft idea. Um, I played something like this. So let me show you those um, slowly. The first one is the, um, oh, they're all used for E and B string. Um, anyway, um, first one is nine and seven. And we're going up to the 12 and 10. And then nine, seven again. And then chromatically going down to eight, six, seven, five. And then we change the shape here. Five, four, four, three, uh, three, two. And then I pick this um, four beats. This one four beats, and this one two times, and then this is a bit irregular here, not complete triplet, but okay. So um, that's the timing once again uh, here on the nine and seventh fret. triplet here. That's fine with me too. Um, but I play it's a little bit different. Okay, so an A7 chord, I did an A7 chord, it's A9 arpeggio um, using that the nines here, the root here, the sevens here, five here, and third here. Repeat four times. And then the frets are the um, uh, seventh fret E string here, fifth fret E string, and uh, eighth fret the B string bend it up, and the fifth fret e, uh, B string, and the sixth fret the G string. You can also use a chromatic um, a triplet uh, to start. This way that the timing of bended note is slightly shifted in the own beat. Uh, the first one was a sy more syncopated. Okay, or the standard idea is more like this. You can still use this, but this is more like a reverse version. choose any of that just to think of the A9 arpeggio this is the third fifth seventh we're gonna bend up a little bit quarter note and then nines and the passing note and root you can combine anything and then this is a bit of extra note here in the six actually um, that makes it A13 arpeggio um, this one is a F sharp note on that uh, B string the seventh fret Another phrasing I use on the B7 chord. That's the same idea, uh, B7 and A7, is just a two fret above the A7, which is um, 9, 8, 7, and 10, bend it up, and, and repeat it with the root here, 7, root 7, and 5, 3rd, 5. And eventually I bend it up to 6, which is the 9th uh, the fret. Slowly, one more time. 
that's the idea for the B7. And A7 chord, I play more standard way. Um, this way it's a little easier. Um, six five five and then seven six five uh, eight bended and a five five and the last three notes is more like E seven arpeggio E six arpeggio, which is ninth fret slide it up and seventh fret and nine. And I hit the bass note and start turn around. You can play this way. The hammer on the last last shape. So my right hand is picking from the A string and I'm going to the G string and the two open strings. You can also hit the um, E open strings only, that's fine too. Five skip four and four skip three. No, four skip two and three skip uh, three skip two and two skip one and a hammer. So actually, it's, it's open and a hammer to first fret. So once again, the double stop idea on E seven is this. To this and the second time the E7 chord is just two bars, so I did a slightly different time um, here. So those are the shorter here and the two, two different shapes here. This way, and I went to the B7. This was another idea of the um, solo idea of E um, blues in the key of E. So um, and then this was the um, blues guitar lesson number fourteen. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you again in the next video, the blues guitar lesson number fifteen.